Cindy and I'm going to be showing you my new makeup that I just purchased. I finished, I'm pretty much finished with my MAC foundation which I have to say I was not crazy about. It was the kind of thing where I, I would like check my makeup during the day and I would think, ooh, what's wrong with my face? And so um, now that it's, I'm just about finished with it and um, it's getting kind of thick, I, it was a good reason for me to go get my Chanel, my new Chanel foundation. And I had a lot of fun with the lady that waited on me and started. I, I have a clean palette, my face is clean. I have my moisturizer and everything on, but I did just put some more um, moisturizer around my eyes. I recently um, was watching some makeup videos on YouTube and I was concerned about this area of my eye looking dry with my concealer on and they were recommending and, and actually doing a tutorial video on putting your moisturizer on and uh, two or three times and letting it work, letting it do what it's designed to do. So I've been doing that. I've been putting my moisturizer on around my eyes like three times. So, um, so anyway, that was my third time. <laughs> okay, this is my new Chanel makeup. Oh gosh, I'm trying to get the cut. I'll put the links down below. Gosh, I can see my reflection in there. But um, the color is, I'll, I'll put everything down below. I don't want to take time doing that right now. And like but the lady said, I, uh, a little goes a long way. So uh, I'm, I have my moisturizer on. I do not have a primer on. And I always wear a primer. But because this is new and I really want to get... Um, the feel for it, and I want to give you ladies the feel, uh, what I'm feeling for it. Um, I'm not going to put a primer on right away. Okay, because I've done that with my finger, I know that uh, I put a lot of dots around, but they're very uh, thin, not a lot of product. And I'm going to take my uh, brush and start from the middle and work out as I've been told to do, as I've learned to do. There is a fragrance to this, Chanel. And I'm not used to makeup with fragrances. I'm not good with fragrance. Especially, you know, when you're putting your makeup on early in the morning and then that fragrance hits you. Um, it can be a little overpowering. I'm gonna get it really close. very uh, satiny, even without any shimmery uh, primer underneath. I like that. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is my are my eyebrows. Get those um, filled in a little bit. I did have my... And I think I've been uh, doing my eyebrows a little too dark. So I'm going to watch that. I'm going to add a little bit down here. There. And match this one with this one. It seems like I've been losing my eyelash on my eyebrow hair. But maybe it's just because I took some time to tweeze my eyebrows today. It's bare minerals. This is what it looks like. My bronzer. I lost my bronzer. So um, this is what I'm using for my bronzer. And it's quite um, rich, but especially with my hair up, I'm just dabbing. So that's that. Now I'm going to do, this is from Anastasia, my contour kit, for I'm going to do my eyes. And I just like to take one of these lighter ones for right in here, just to get rid of some of that darkness. 
and um, also it, it preps and primes the rest of my oh, eyes. Yes, now I'm good. also, I've been using this, any one of these lighter colors in this little brush to go around my marionettes, my nasal folds, because look at this great little brush. It just fits perfectly right in there. And I like that. And right around here. I get red around in here. Especially right now with all the grass and seed coming in. Um, my eyes have been watering. And actually I'm going to stop because I really do have a, a concealer. My, this one. And I'm almost out of this one. But I am going to stop it. this wet washcloth instead of a spritzer and uh, kind of push that makeup in a little bit. Now I have to say ladies the older I get my eyelids are are turning harder and harder getting harder and harder to um, use my um, eyeshadow with it seems like the creepiness of my eyes is harder and harder to um, to shadow. And with one eye, the older I get, one eye is just get, is different than the other. But and so I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it just takes me longer. And I I have I know, and I've even given tutorials on that I'm supposed to be putting my my eye my eyeshadow on with little up and down strokes but I've discovered I like doing circles so I don't care what Wayne Goss says I'm doing circles and okay um how's that now um hmm okay I'm gonna put my eyeliner on and I am still using and enjoying my Bobbi Brown Pot Gel Eyeliner. It goes on great. And um, I just feel like I have more control over it. And in fact, let's see. I'm gonna just do it by feel. Because I am gonna put another, wow, I think I got that right on the money. Because I am gonna put a little violet color on top of it and once again it's a little difficult when you have to really whoops I did get a goober on that one that eyes not quite as good but it'll do um, and I have also been enjoying these little wet wipes that are real handy to just like zap clean off my little brush right there and I am, I want, I do want to drag or blend this. I would like a little more eye shadow up in here. So I'm going to try to pull that up because this is where my eyes are heavy, right in there. So that's the part that I need camouflaging with the darker shadow. Okay, next is my, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to be putting false eyelashes on. So I did get a new eyelash curler. And um, now another thing, I do have lashes, but Mostly they are, they just need curling and thickening. Now I do need to, oh, I have something sad to show you. You might even need to get a Kleenex out for your tears. This brand new um, blush 
Circa that I bought, recently bought. It was, I did not drop it, but it completely broke, shattered, and kaput. So I'm, I'm furious about this, this whole thing of being, being a consumer and then our products aren't red hot. All right, I'm just going to use my um, Estee Lauder a tiny bit, goes a long way. And this is a copy of the color I got and have always used from Bobbi Brown. But I couldn't get to Bobbi Brown and I needed this, so I found it at Estee Lauder. Okay, I have two of these. Now, I, I was wearing this one, and then when I went to get my Chanel um, foundation, the gal said, I want you to try this one, and I did, and I liked it. So I'm going to try this um, uh, lipstick on. It's this, that stain lipstick, and if you don't, so... I'm doing it by feel. Mmm, I love it. And I do think it brightens my face. And that will really stay on all day. Then one of the last things that I have to do is... Um, put my uh, eye makeup on my waterline and I am I am going to use <laughs> if I can find it here it is uh, like I said I've been really um, I've really been loving this violet color versus the browns and the green I mean yeah the browns and the green so much so I'm going to add a little bit of this right in here just to make my eyes a little more dramatic. And, and then I'm going to use the same color for my uh, bottom, for my bottom eye, eye. Now this time, let's see if I can do this so I don't lose you guys. Okay, here we go on my waterline. There, that really makes my eye defined. Okay, so this is, in fact, I could even use a little more. I love this. Um, look at this. This is what I just used. And this is what I, I bought to replace it, but it doesn't go on as dark, so I use this on the up, on my eyeshadow. So I will use this, but I have to get another one of these, these Lancomes. So with that, my, I'm going to press again. I wanted to um, put my... Put my earrings on to help complete my look. Whoops! <laughs> I don't want to put this camera down so far. And I want to say that I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers and I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I'm so excited. So um, because Easter's uh, in a few days, um, I don't know when I'm going to reach 1,000 subscribers. It'll be soon. I'm at like I, it, I'm almost there. So I do want to um, have fun and do, a, a, do a, a giveaway. After Easter is over and, um, you know, things settle down in the household, I want to enjoy uh, doing a giveaway. Okay, those are my, f my fancy earrings. I have on my necklace that this was my grandmother's um, ID neck ID bracelet. This, 
and this was on the bottom of her ring. So after she passed away, I got that little bracelet and I had it made into that necklace, which I really like. So, okay, ladies, this is it. Um, this is Palm Springs Cindy.